Odin. Hello and welcome to the Garden of Odin. I wanted to give you a little tutorial on seed starting. It's cold and rainy outside. Tomorrow it's supposed to be warm. But I've got the heat lamp on for some of uh, for my tomatoes, peppers which haven't come up. I've got my eggplant on a heating mat underneath there, the little plastic wrapped around it as well. And my eggplant actually sprouted this year, and now it's cold, so I'm going to protect them a little bit more tonight than tomorrow to get warm. And I think I actually either burned or froze some of my squash. That's butternut squash and just a regular pumpkin, and then those green Herod, Herodale, whatever um, pumpkins that are so pretty. But they look a little ragged. And that just gave out. And that one did. But that one down there is okay. So I've got them just, I don't have them on a heat mat. But I have a towel under it on styrofoam to insulate the bottom. And then wrapped up a little bit. So hopefully the heat lamp will keep that warm. But what I wanted to show you was back to the... Um, Back to the uh, seed starting. So these, these are wild hops, and I just put it in this um, packing that comes with lettuce and whatnot. I put sand in there, and I get sand out of the creek. There's one, and I put them in here in the fall or winter, and just keep it moist and partially covered. So I've got some wild hops that came up from seed. So I'm going to plant those. There's one. What happened? There's one under there. And one here. And I just planted up three of them already. And then those are some crab apples that I started from seed. I think wild ones and a couple other things in there. Some Indian grass. But I have a whole row of wildflower seeds and wild seeds that I have stratified all winter just in these different bins, keeping them moist, keeping the sand in there. So that way they're really easy to pull out as they start to sprout and plant. But anyway, here's Louie. Anyway, step over him. And I keep my potting soil in this big tub. And then I can just fill it in the tub making too much of a mess and I just use this um, short handled s shovel to mix because I reuse my potting soil too I always add new or often add new but I reuse it there's one Anyway, I'm trying not to be all jumpy here with my filming. So I make a little hole. While the soil is still soft. And then I just drop my little seedling down inside the hole. Firm up the soil around it. And that's how easy it is. Since these develop quite a root system, that's why I'm putting them in this size of a container to begin with. Take it over here. I guess I'll have to find a new spot. This is what always happens in the winter. The greenhouse looks so bare because I don't keep it heated like a hothouse. And then in the spring, as things sprout and I start to pot them up, it gets more and more full. And then I'll set them out here, and a lot of wildflowers, I think, do well if I keep them in a pot a whole year and then plant them out the next year. So I've already planted a lot, but I have some more to plant out. So I'll water those up. Oh, here, one more thing. I'll go ahead and drop.
drop this little guy in there. So see the root system? How it's already got not just the tap root but side roots coming. Drop it in there. Firm it into place. And then one other thing besides these wild hops that have come from the seed again that I stratified over the winter in this sand bed. Let's come out here. This is a wild hop rhizome that I dug up and put in there and that's sprouting and then I've got two more out in the garden only one of those came up, but now I'll have more than enough. I don't want to have a whole garden of um, wild hops or a whole plantation of them, but I'll have enough. And that way, if some of these don't make it, I'll still be okay. I'll still have enough. Probably more than I know what to do with. I might put them back out in the fence line where I found them, but anyway. There it is. There it is, my little baby hot plant. And four more right there. Thanks for watching.